Hello everyone, my name is JaggerBR and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl. So I think we got the gym leader to return here. Uh, yep, it looks like it. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier too. Gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. Don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock type Pokemon with a fire type won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. That guy kind of reminds me of uh, Blaine from Kanto, the Cinnabar Island gym leader. Youngster Jonathan sent out a Geodude. Well, he's gonna be made of fool. Duh. I don't know. Assuming, yeah. But actually, by the end of this gym, there's a chance Mr. Popper could level up. Or evolve. Ah, probably not. Because I don't know what. If it's level 15 or 16 if it's 15 yes if it's 16 eh. oh he has two pokemon so it might be doable i'm assuming the gym leader has two as well I don't really know. Because in my head he just has the same Pokemon as Brock, a Geodude and an Onix, which would give him the same Pokemon as this kid. Ah. Brock is another one name I could have given my Geodude, but I like my names to be references to other things I like. This is humiliating. Got 416 for winning. Alright, now what do you got for me? Rourke. Welcome. This is the Orberg's Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. I need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Do, 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 do. Oh, he has three. And first up, a Geodude. I'm, so, I'm just trying to think. Because I've seen Gen 1 Pokemon and Gen 4. I'm just trying to think if I've seen any 2 or 3 or after this game. Alright, four level ups. Mr. Popper wants to learn Peck. Absolutely. Uh, get rid of... Get rid of Charm. As much as I like having diverse moves that I don't think Charm is one of them. I'll go Paunch, leveled up. Wants to learn Double Team. No thanks. Abra leveled up. And Daruk leveled up. Alright, he's got the Onyx. What would a third? Is that the booby trap? Stone's floating in the air. Alright. I'm trying to think what a third Pokemon would be. He could have Rockleth? You have a Rockleth, don't you? Is that the name? Rock of. There's a rock dog Pokemon that I think was introduced in Gen 4. So, that would. makes enough sense to me that he'd have it. Cranidos. That's the dinosaur with the blue head. It's blue. 
I think you can take down the next book. Oh. I never understood what break the mold means. I don't know if that means like their stats can go beyond <laughs> beyond normal limits. Did I? Oh wait, no, I had attack down, not special attack. The Rook leveled up. And wants to learn Harden. Uh. I don't know the difference between these two, but I like Harden over Defense Curl. I'm assuming Harden's better. Alright, you defeat Gym Leader Rourke. Wh what? That can't be my buffed up Pokemon. Oh yeah, and that person that beat him with two level 5 Pokemon. Starly would be at disadvantage. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. That's the story. You were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your own our gym badge since you've beaten me, the gym leader. Here's your coal badge. Nice. You received the coal badge from Rourke. Now use Rock Smash from your Poketch. You should also take these too. Uh, did you have a special move? I don't know if I saw it. Stealth Rock. Flicks damage on opponents that switch out of battle. These are the stickers I use. Here. What do I use stickers for? A TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but it will break when you use this to be certain. Okay. Where do... Where stickers... Okay, not in my book there. That's good to know. Alright. We don't really need it, I don't think, but we'll stop off at the Poke Center before heading out of town. I don't. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go back through the way I came in and use Rock Smash. But I'm not sure if I can go right also. A museum about mining. They're not wait. Oh, I want that back. I can't use that here. <laughs> All right. I was trying to turn around actually. Yeah. I'm All right, is there any other city of energy? Okay, Route 207. Well, if that's, oh, I'm gonna look at the town map. We're just gonna try to focus on this area. Oh uh, yeah, so that does seem like the way forward. Well, if that's the case, we're going back to the cave to smash rocks. Lewis, I thought this was the wrong way, Lewis. What do you want? You got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next stop, the Eterna gym badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Wow, who's got time for counting? Okay, well then, that is good to know. So I guess we will hit up 207 first. Just so we can get a new Pokemon. I can't believe I made it the whole way across there. Is there a hidden? Look at me knowing how Pokemon does their game design after 23 years. Ah, yes, I'm a chop. I don't like I don't like the way my team is shaping up because I have 
three Gen 1 Pokemon that require trading to evolve. And I'm not sure how that fits in with my Nuzlocke. Because they're not... They're not, um... I can't think. Because they wouldn't be my Pokemon. I don't know if I can trade them. If that messes it. Uh, yes, I would. Alright. We'll keep up our trend of giving out names from other video games. Alright. And is there an item here? What do you mean no item here? You can't just put an item in three corners of an area. That slope's too slippery. You'll need a bike to get up. Don't have a bike? Psycho shop in Eterna City. Alright, well at least I'm up to six Pokemon total. Even if half of them are... Oh, I didn't want to go in here. Even if half of them are from Gen 1... Oh, that's right, I can smash these Pokemon. A wild Bidoof helped out. I can also catch if a Pokemon pops out of here, because... I'm glad I don't actually have to pull up my thing. I can just smash them like this. All right, here we got a battle. Ah, it's a Geodude. I already have a Geodude. Oh wow, he survives. Oh, sturdy. I was wondering how he'd survive that, but Endura makes sense. Two damage. The wild Geodude fainted. Wow, my Goros. Oh yeah, level 5, that does sound right. Whee! Well, I guess, is this a different area? No. Antoine, what do we got that isn't a Geodude or a Machop? Come on, something new. Okay. It's Zubat, which means I need to come up with a nickname. And if I remember correctly, the last time I got a Zubat, I named it like Bruce. Uh, what's a nickname for a Zubat? Uh, bats, bats, bats. Alright. Oh man, I'm gonna wreck people a little bit more now. Well, oh, watch is about to die. Print blow. All right, penguin Pokemon. Its wings deliver wicked blows that snap even the thickest of trees. It searches for prey in icy seas. Look at that rhyming. Ooh, Metal Claw. Yes, please. Uh, by Growl? Yeah. One, two, and ta-da! I probably forgot how to growl, but now it has Metal Claws. Alright, um, yeah. 
disliking sunlight, it sleeps deep in forests and caves until sundown. Alright. How do you spell it? Because I want to make sure I get it right. Uh, I just remembered how this name, where this name came from, which makes it super easy to remember how to spell. Alucard. Uh, send to a box. <laughs> it's hard because I really like the name. I just don't like Zubat. Oh, is this a ramp? Oh, Stardust. What? Man, I wish I could walk around and just find Stardust. Do you see those slanted rocks on the ground? She was awesome taking those fast on a bike. Give me your bike, let me try it. Okay. I was gonna say, if I see a cool Pokemon I could have had, I'm gonna be annoyed. So, okay, metal is not super effective on uh, poison. I always, metal, metal, poison, they have some weird um, typing, like effectiveness. So it's hard to remember all of them. I think ground might actually beat both of them. Alright, Norbert and Goro with the level ups. Alright, so there was not much here, but I did catch Alucard, so that's something at least. Plus, Mr. Popper's leveled up. Let's head back to Jubilife Town. I can't believe there wasn't any... That Pokemon didn't hop out of any of those. But now there's Pokemon in here. Though earlier when I tried to walk through, there wasn't. Or at least, none showed up. It's super effective. Goro learned revenge. <laughs> Goro, who did you learn revenge from? Why do you need to know revenge? Oh man, these fights are just... These ones aren't going to be fair. Unless they scaled the fights through the entire air, entire region with what level you and your Pokemon are, but I don't think that's how Pokemon does things. Alright. So back to Jubilife Town. Do we need healed? Not really. Do we need Pokeballs? Uh, we're at 39, so that's a no. Um, I think this is way to Eternia? Uh, where are we at time? Um, okay. Just, gonna, just a quick save before we head up to see the Professor and Dawn. And forget Team Plasma? Ah, here you go. Impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling other nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, will you? Beat them up. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. 
all you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistance doesn't become collateral damage. Here, bro. Teach him a lesson. Beat him up. You and Dawn. A two-on-two -two battle. Except they have... Oh, Team Galactic. Except they have two Pokemon and you guys definitely have more than two Pokemon. Okay, I've never fought a Wurmple before. That's why it's... Alright, I'll take out Zubat if you want to burn that Caterpillar thing. Alright, Falco leveled up and Goro leveled up. Any new attacks? No. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children. This won't do. Time to retreat. This message is failure. Okay. Oh! Yay! Level up! Fuckle Paunch! Falco Punch evolved into a Staravia. They live in forests and fields. Squabbles over territory occur when flocks collide. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. So... They call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control. The Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Yagabra, well done. You battle quite capably. Seeing you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident. In my decision to entrust you with a Pokedex. There, bro. Did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I wonder if that's accurate. Also, I wish the text would show up in different colors for who's talking. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo s startling evolutions. So, yeah, you're right. Let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Okay. Well, you're not going to find any new Pokemon back there. Whoa! What was that just now? That was amazing! Those guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. Woo! That was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's Phoebe, and I work as a systems administrator in Heart Home City, east of here. How old are you, BB? Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. Also, give these ball capsules to you. I hope you like the balls. What? You can customize your own capsules by placing stickers on capsule balls. On, put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule. It'll look really pretty when it bursts open. Stickers will also give you an edge in the super contest shows where I live in Heart Home City. So try to collect a bunch. Anyway, see you later. I have many questions. 
I understand that I am 10. But how old are you? What would you like to do with this ball capsule? Uh, I want to... Yeah, we'll... That's the popper! We're gonna... Play stickers. Ooh, we got... God, I just remembered I am... Uh... Flora sticker D... Fire sticker... Bubble! Hearts. All right, let's put a bubble uh, right there. Can I remove sticker? Okay, cool. They got the nice. Okay, yeah, they got the nice stickers, the movable ones. Whoop. Actually, maybe. Grab it and fit there. When you toggle between 2D and 3D, all the place stickers will be removed. No. Oh. I wish I could rewind time and stuff. Okay. I wanna. I don't know. What do, what does three D mode look like? Oh, I don't like that. So it's just when you go the one way. Oh, the back. I can place 20 stickers on this. Alright, but that's going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Shining Pearl. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Next time, we will head up to Eterna City and find Lewis and maybe get a bike. I think there's a gym too, so we'll do a lot of things. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.